Alright, and finally, we have Mamoswine. Alright, we're going to be taking a look at some interesting facts about Mamoswine. Alright, so for Mamoswine's information, his weight is 291.0 kilograms, his height is 2.5 meters, he is an ice type and a ground type, his abilities are Oblivious or Snow Cloak, and Thick Fat, which is its hidden ability. His catch rate is 50, which is also 12.9%. It evolves from Piloswine when leveled up while knowing ancient power. And it is the final form of Swinub. I mean, Piloswine used to be the final form of Swinub in Generations 2 and 3, but it's Mamoswine. And for his entry, its impressive tusks are made of ice. The population thinned when it turned warm after the Ice Age. Wow. That is pretty cool information. So on Mamoswine, the only difference is that the tusks are on male Mamoswine are longer, and the tusks on the female Mamoswine are shorter. Now when it comes to Mamoswine in the spin-off games, there are two appearances that Mamoswine has made. In Pokemon X and Y, when you're on Route 17, also known as Mamoswine Road, the player has to ride a mammoth swine through the deep snow that separates Dendemal Town and Anastar City. So basically, you would have to travel on mammoth swine to get to that city. And in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky, mammoth swine is the boss of Dark Ice Mountain in the special episode in the Future of Darkness. Wow, looks like you better watch out for mammoth swine because he's coming after you! Alright, so when it comes to Mamoswine in the TV series, he's made four appearances. For Dawn's Mamoswine, well, Dawn has a Mamoswine which evolved from a Piloswine in a breed stampede, which also marked the species' main series debut. There was a time where Mamoswine would not listen to Dawn's commands, but it eventually realized how deeply she cared for it in trials and adulations and started obeying her. Since then, Mamoswine became a reliable partner and was used in many contest battles. Well, it looks like Mamoswine had no respect for Dawn before, but now Mamoswine is listening to what Dawn says. And Mamoswine debuted in Giratina and the Sky Warrior, where a herd helped Reggie Gigas stop a sliding glacier that endangered a nearby Gracidia garden and several towns and villages, and a mammoth swine appeared in a flashback of survival of the Striton Gym under the ownership of Morana. It was seen battling and defeating Chili's uh, Pantsir, and multiple mammoth swine appeared in Over the Mountain of Snow, including two of them that were hired by Ash and his friends to take a shortcut on Route 17. Like I said before, but wow, Mamoswine has made some good appearances in the anime. Alright, so here is Mamoswine's shiny form. So basically for his shiny form, it's slightly better than Piloswine's shiny form. I have to think that Piloswine's shiny form is awful, but if you really like the shiny, here is the QR code if you ever want to register him into Pokemon Sun and Moon. Oh, and here are some other facts that you didn't know about Mamoswine. So basically, Mamoswine's Pokemon Diamond Pearl, Soul Silver, Black 2, White 2, and Y Pokedex entry entries are a reference to how woolly mammoths became extinct. And uh, Mamoswine would have been obtainable in both Generation 2 and Generation 3 if it had existed, as Piloswine could learn ancient power in both generations. It shares this trait with Lickalicky, which I'll probably talk about in a future video. No other Pokemon has the same type combination as Mamoswine in its pre-evolutions, Swinup and Pyoswine, like I said before, and that Mamoswine in its pre-evolutions are also the only Pokemon weak to the types of all three starter Pokemon. Well, I happen to think that Mamoswine makes uh, one of the best Pokemon I've ever seen. Great job, Memo Swine. And there you guys have it. Those are some interesting facts for the whole Memo Swine evolution line. 
I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please like, subscribe, comment, share, hit the bell for notifications, check out my gaming videos, and also check out Adventures of Gengar and Meowth, Super Mario Plush Adventures, Kirby Plush Adventures, Sonic Plush Adventures, Adventures with Detective Pikachu, Pokemon Pikachu on the Run, and Pokemon Eevee Squad, and request me some more videos that you would like to see in the future. Alright, so see you guys next time. Bye! Swineub, hey, how come I don't have tusks? Well, you'll get tusks someday, once you evolve. Uh, okay. Huh, huh, huh.